So the idea is to use data in an authentic context, to take a bunch of data and find and tell a story. And the reason that I chose race as the topic was because we have the Jim Crow Museum on campus. And I thought, what a wonderful way to bring the Jim Crow Museum and math together. Our professor gave us a set of data, and then we were supposed to break it down, you know, talk about methodology, basically what we felt about the data, as well as what the data was telling us. We were given a case study, like each of us were given a different case study. And ours, we were doing uh, race and loan disparity. Our, uh, our poster represents the people in poverty in the United States. Real data describes human stories, that there is, uh, is more to math than solving for X. Well, we learned how to, basically how data can be manipulated. Um, we talked about political polls and stuff like that. A lot of the political data that you get um, during that time, there you can take data and look at it one way, flip a couple words, and it means something totally different. It's shown me some things as well, too, like percentage-wise, and still how, even in today's world, we still see numbers like this. It teaches you not to judge based on stereotypes that are presented in the world. You actually have to look stuff up in order to believe it? Well, it really, it really raises awareness. I mean, uh, a lot of it did kind of go without saying, but putting it all on paper kind of puts things into a numbers perspective. And it just makes pe people realize that not everybody, not everybody lives in the same me means as the majority. Well, I like to do this every time I run this course. But in addition, the, um, something else that these students are working on is a service learning project with various community partners. And I would love to bring the Jim Crow Museum in as one of the community partners so that the work that these students do could benefit the museum somehow.